My name's Carl Bob, and I'd like to welcome you to autotalkvideo.com for another automotive book review. Today's book, titled Camaro, Five Generations of Performance, and it's written by Darwin Holmstorm with photography by David Newhart. Again, that's Camaro, Five Generations of Performance. Back in 1963, Ford gave a Mustang. And I'm going to tell you, they just stirred up all kinds of things in Detroit. They set records for sales like nobody had ever seen. And left GM, General Motors, Chevrolet, scratching their head. And of course, they watched Ford grab up all these young buyers and they knew that they had to do something. I don't know whether you know it or not, but General Motors had reached a point at that time of almost taking 60% of the market for sales in, in America and had been warned by the government to watch it and not go over 60% or they'd be in violation of antitrust laws. Now, Ford had been stirred up and was eaten away at them, and so they didn't worry about that anymore. They just worried about capturing part of that market. So they went to work. Three years later, they gave us the Camaro. Camaro started performing from the day it hit the streets and has been doing it and is still doing it today. I gotta tell you, it's not hard to like a Camaro. They were fun to look at and they had the performance both on the street and the racetrack. It's interesting, General Motors reached, or Chevrolet I should say, recently held a survey and they took votes from the customers and fans as to what they thought was the best ever built Chevrolet model during the past hundred years. And the votes came in, and you're right, none other than a 1969 Camaro was the winner. Voted number one Chevrolet model ever built. Nice going Chevrolet and Camaro. And of course, those five generations take us up to today. I just got some breaking news a little bit ago was I'm sitting down to do this review that the first off the line 2012 ZL1 was sold in Las Vegas by Barrett Jackson for $250,000. I believe this is probably another record of prices for a Camaro right out of the box, brand new. It was bought by Rick Hendricks of Hendricks Motorsports, and I'm sure he knows what he was doing. Now let's get back to the book. That's what this is all about. As I picked up the book and looked through the first few pages, I, I couldn't help but to realize that what a fabulous piece of artwork it was. Uh, Mr. Newhart had, again, outdone himself with photography. They're just absolutely fabulous. I enjoyed real quick one of my favorite to see a good photo of that original wooden steering wheel that the Camaro used. Ooh, I love that that steering wheel. And I thought for a second, gee, we got another uh, coffee table book. And then as I turned a few more pages, I realized that Darwin Winterstar had given us much more than a coffee table book. It was a book, the complete history of Camaro, going clear back to when it was thought of, a couple years prior when Chevrolet realized they had to get busy, and he put it all down. So you've got artwork and some of the best photography I've ever looked at, and you've got the complete history of the Camaro right up through this current generation, which is pretty much a very nice piece of artwork in itself that reflects the early, early Camaro. Now, I think you better hurry up, get yourself a copy. It's available online from motorbooks.com and you tell them Car Bob sent you. Oh, don't forget the holidays are coming. What a great gift to get somebody who loves cars that a book on Camaro is called Camaro Five Generations of Performance. Again, that's available from motorbooks.com.
thank you for joining us today here at Auto Talk. Come back again soon for another fun automotive book review. Buckle up, drive safe, and goodbye.